Hey everyone, I am nearing completion of my Masters of the Universe Classics Princess of Power Shelf. The last three figures I have to open are these three right here. I've got a trio of She-Ra figures, I've got an original, a Bubble Power, and a Galactic Protector She-Ra, and I figure, hey, let's take a look at them together. We'll start things off with the original She-Ra in this line. She came out in 2009 and was one of the first figures in the line. Uh, she's in a standard Motu Classics Mattel box with the Princess of Power logo. And if you see right here, you've got a reminder that She-Ra is the most powerful woman in the universe. So, checkmate, Captain Marvel. The back of the package shows some other figures in the line. And then we have a character profile, if you want to take a look at that. One thing that's kind of weird is that there are like air holes on the side of this package. I don't think any of the other figures I've opened in this line have had that. I wonder if it's because she's an early figure in the line and maybe that's something they did up front to help with like plasticizer leaking or something. I, I know it's a problem on import figures. I've never really seen it on domestics, but I don't know. All right, so let's open her up and uh, get a closer look. We'll start by looking at what She-Ra comes with. Uh, the first thing that she comes with is this head with her tiara that is reminiscent of the original toy line. And she can wear it like this, or she can wear it like this. She also comes with a second head that has a tiara that looks more like the Filmation cartoon. Also, her cape can come off. She comes with a gold sort of protection. Um, the one in the cartoon is silver, but I believe the original toy was gold, and they stuck with that on this one with this nice blue gem here in the middle. She also has the matching gold shield with the blue gem. And then she comes with this axe, which uh, harkens back to the original toy line, with one side being a weapon and the other side being a comb or brush. Uh, back in the original toy line, they had uh, doll hair, and you can brush them. The articulation on this Shira is it's okay. Um, she's got good range of motion on the arm. You can go way up. Um, you got a pivot here. Elbows almost 90 degrees, just a little shy. And her wrists will rotate, but they don't have any front and back. Um, she has nothing in her torso. That's just a solid piece of plastic. The legs are pretty limited. She's got a knee that'll go far like that. The ankles will go back a decent amount, forward a decent amount. There's a rocker here, but it's like, that's as far as it'll go. There's really only two parts of articulation that I think are pretty bad. Uh, the first is the head. Her hair, it's a really solid piece of plastic. Um, she can't look up like at all. She can barely look down. Side to side, you got to just like kind of put her hair over her shoulder. And that just looks dumb. The part that's really bad on the articulation is that her skirt is just a hard solid piece. And it prevents her from being able to spread her legs. Which sounds creepier than I intended it to. But bear with me. So the problem with the skirt and the legs is that Shira has her trusty steed named Swiftwind. And she doesn't really fit on the saddle. That's real silly. Overall, the paintwork is pretty nice. Uh, the white on her dress is, uh, is kind of a cloudy off-white. Um, the gold is a little bit of a darker tone. Um, it's got a bit of a more of a brass uh, tint to it. Um, the gem on her chest is a nice turquoise. The skin tones look good and they did a nice job with the face. Uh, the details are, are pretty nice. It's well painted. So overall, I think she's a nice figure, um, but as an earlier entry in the line, she definitely has some problems, and uh, they could have done a better one. And they did do a better one with the Bubble Power Shira. This one came out a couple years later in 2011. She's got the same standard box. 
the same reminder about being the most powerful woman in the universe. Just like before, we see some other figures in the line, and then we've got the bio. Bubble Power Shira is a design based on the original toy line. She's got her pink and gold armor over her traditional white outfit, and she's got her gold and kind of hologram purple uh, tiara, and she also has a gold cloak. She comes with a slightly different version of the sword that we saw in the last figure. Similar shape overall, except the gem is pink instead of blue, and it is a star pattern instead of a circle. The shield is the standard shield that basically almost all the female figures in this line come with. Um, this is the same as her original, except it has a pink gem instead of blue. She's got the same gold axe comb combo. Um, I suppose the gold is a little different. A little lighter on the bubble power versus the little more almost bronzy on the first one. I suppose if she wanted to dual wield comb axes, that's an option. And lastly, she comes with this gun blaster thing that is inspired by the original toy line. Um, I believe it originally blew bubbles. You can put the little soap bubbles in here and do that. Um, I don't think this one actually does that, though. But the important part is that this bubble power stuff comes off. And when you take off her bubble power stuff, you're left with what a lot of people call the 2.0 Shira body. If you compare the two, the first thing you notice, um, like you saw with the axes, the gold is more of a true gold color on the bubble power or the 2.0 body. The whites are a brighter white. The blues are a brighter color. The bracers now have additional detailing with the blue gem and the additional ridges on the bracer itself instead of just a plain flat texture. You can see the same thing happening on the boots. The original was just a very flat texture. Um, this one has nice ridges both on the boot and on the um, bottom of her foot. But the most important difference is the skirt. It's made of a softer material and it has these cuts right here. So this Shira can do this. So what you do is you take the head, tiara, cloak, and bubble power armor and accessories off of the 2.0, put it on the 1.0 body. You take the 1.0 head and accessories and put it on the 2.0 body and you get this combination. Your bubble power Shira still looks pretty good and you have a nicer looking classic Shira with better articulation. And now she can actually ride Swift Wind. Look at that. Last up is this Galactic Protector Shira. I don't believe she's from the original toy line or the cartoon. I know Galactic Protector's He-Man is a thing. Um, and I my understanding is that in the Masters of the Universe Classics line, Mattel said, hey, let's make a Shira in the same style as the He-Man. So let's take a look. Here's the bio if you want to take a look. Galactic Power Shira comes with an energy sword an energy shield, a blaster, which fits in her holster, and this little green visor piece, which connects to her helmet. The legs, boots, and bracers are all the same that we saw on the 2.0 or bubble power body. The helmet is obviously different. The cape is different. Uh, it's a different connection around the neck, and it's blue and white. The chest and kind of tabard design, um, that's all unique for this figure. And that actually has more of a design similar to the original toy. Whereas you can see um, above her right breast up to her right shoulder, the design kind of comes up a bit more uh, right here. That is very much um, like the vintage uh, toy design. So that's kind of a cool throwback. So there you have it. That is my trio of Masters of the Universe Classics She-Ra figures. Um, I really like this line. The quality on them is pretty good. I regret that I did not get into this line until it was already done. So it's taken me a while to get all the ones I wanted because I've been trying not to pay too terribly high of an aftermarket. For some of that, it just was inevitable. 
Um, luckily, I've been able to find good deals on most of them. I got some online, but the majority I got local here at uh, Dallas Vintage Toys. So that's been nice to be able to support a local business, be able to inspect the figures before I take them home. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all I got for now. I will close it out with a quick little rundown of the shelf if you want to take a peek at that. Uh, other than that, thanks for watching. Uh, do the YouTube things, like, comment, subscribe. Um, I'm just getting going, but it really helps me out. Thanks a lot. Bye. Bye.